Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Thursday, October the 10th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, this situation between China and the NBA is frankly getting more and more embarrassing by the moment. Now you have agents who are warning their players, or their players, the, the people they represent, I should say, the players they represent, warning the, the players not to get involved in this, not to say anything, just avoid it, don't get into it. Well, why is that? I mean, I, I guess the, the agents don't want uh, you know, their clients, uh, the players they represent, to have any consequences from criticizing China. This is really incredible, especially coming from a professional league like the NBA that never had any trouble getting itself involved in politics, including, you may remember, how many NBA players were out there promoting this idea of hands up, don't shoot, turned out to be a total lie. That was, of course, Ferguson, Missouri, where a, a white police officer was accused of just killing uh, a black young man without any consideration. And the whole idea of hands up, you know, don't shoot. Uh, players were saying this, they had uh, t-shirts, they were bringing that into the games. And the league, nobody in the league, you know, called them up and said, hey, guys, stop doing that. You're not telling the truth uh, with that message. But anyway, I guess that didn't matter to the NBA. But I think what matters now, of course, is that China does not take dissent. China does not tolerate criticism. And if you criticize them, they're going to come right back at you and they're going to go into your pocketbook, which is what many of these players are, are fearing. They're going to go after the league and say, hey, you know, we're going to take the money away. And that's really, uh, that's really shameful that the NBA, first of all, has put itself in that situation, and number two, is willing to tolerate this kind of, of really ridiculous pushing around by the Chinese. The United States represents freedom, and if the Chinese don't like it, well, that's their problem. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.